VCube is a multiple toolbox for video application, only video application, or video for audio application. I will try to show you a little bit the whole possibilities through it, and you can make your own idea towards your own application. So first of all, I'm going to show you here, I have a timeline at the bottom, where I have at the moment a clip, which is a 1080p in DVC Pro HD. Now I go into my Windows browser, and I'm going to pick up a QuickTime file, and just drag it on the top. So it means that now I have this QuickTime file here on the top, and I have still my 1080p file at the bottom. If I mute the top one, I will see the bottom one, and I have the audio which was coming with the clip time file. So you can imagine that I can have many different possibilities in terms of different file formats, different codecs, different types of resolution within the same project. So if I go pick up now here an MPEG file in standard SD, I then have here my top file. I can do then a picture in picture for it and see my different files underneath. This is, for example, very useful if you wish to compare two edits or compare two final files and see the difference between one and the other. Now, all of this can be automatically and in real time compiled towards SD settings, 69430 in PAL or NTSC, or towards HD settings. I will do now a 720p 50 hertz, for example, and all the files are compiling at the same time out to the same system. So the idea, of course, is that you have some physical IOs if you need to, which could be, of course, SDI for the video and for the audio, or for the audio you could have AES or analog if you want. This is my capture tool, where again you can capture in different file formats and in different codecs and resolutions. Now, much more interesting, because here we're just with simple files, is that now I'm going to delete all of that and start again, this time with compositions. So I'm going to create a new composition. And here I can directly import, for example, an AEF. So here it asks me the bin where my raw medias are. And I'm opening now my AEF composition, which is here. You see, it's not properly set in terms of the settings, so I put it a 169, and there we go. And I play out graphically or as the eye output. Now, adding to this AEF, I could then add a Final Cut Pro project, for example, within the same composition. Or I can add what I have here, for example, an old OMF composition from Avid. This bin structure, it means that I could pick up from different network storage, from different servers or whatever, different parts of the files that I can pile up here and then it passes through this different media storage. So now I have here on the top my OMF, with at the bottom my audio from the OMF. So underneath you see the AEF that I can bring up, for example, on the top here, so that I see my AEF on the top and my OMF at the bottom, or I just can do a picture-in-picture -picture again if I wish to. I'm going to come back to my browser, and I'm going to now add my DVC Pro QuickTime HD file. So all of this behaves happily within the same project. So you can do really whatever you want. More realistically now is that I would have to compile, for example, or to do my audio post-production or add just a little credit file or whatever it is in a different format. And I would like now to export it or via SDI, for example, where I can have Again, my quick SD in 4 thirds, 69 and whatever. Or, more interesting, I can now make my in and my out points, for example, and I could simply then export it, wrap it, if it would be already an encoded properly file for broadcasting, or render my composition, typically an MXF over here, with my width and heights, which are already set, and my audio MXF also, or for example, if I need to do a DVD, I will do an MPEG directly with a MPEG main concept encoder, or an AVI, or a QuickTime, whatever I need. Vicuve has many other features. Among others, I will synchronize it with all generic 9-pin devices or LTC. And with the merging environment, meaning Ovation or Pyramix, I then have the virtual transport in which I can connect locally in the same machine or over the network 
different merging devices, meaning a Pyramix, meaning a Novation, and they will all run and synchronize together.